Hi guys, welcome back. This is lecture 7.2. So in the previous lecture, lecture we have seen the form and the enhancement, or sorry, the um, progressive enhancement. So for the form, you have seen how the form can send data through the two methods, the uh, the post and the get method. And we have seen also the action attribute where we got, we can write a PHP script to process data at the server side. In this lecture, we're going to see how to validate, clean up, sanitize a form using your own function, your JavaScript function, and or using the object, or JavaScript object regular expression. So let's start. Now, uh, without form validation, your end users can enter any data that is unclean, okay? Or some of your, your user could be uh, a hacker and he or she will enter or inject a malicious data or code. That malicious code would compromise your server, can change the behavior or the appearance of your web application, and it can even steal data from your legit other end users. This kind of um, compromise, uh, this kind of threat or an um, uh, inconvenience is called uh, cross-site scripting, or in short, XSS. Guys, you need to Google more on the XSS uh, bag, how it's exploited, how sites are were vulnerable, and what type of XSS attacks are there. Uh, for the time being here, on, in this lecture, I'm going to briefly explain the XSS, or the cross-site scripting. So a web-based a web -based attack, XSS is a web-based attack. It attacks web application, uh, especially the those web applications that are vulnerable. By vulnerable here, we really mean uh, those web applications where the forms have not been sanitized or cleaned up or validated. The victim here is not the web application, okay, for the XSS. The victim here is always another user who is using your web application. Why? Because the hacker would use your web application. And remember, the main entry point is a form. Through the form, the hacker can inject or enter some malicious data. So. If you don't validate the, the data uh, in a form, you are vulnerable, or your web application is vulnerable. So the hacker will enter wrong data inside your uh, form, and you're going to send the form, and you're going to save the page in your server with the data entered from that user. Later on, maybe another user will access or throw whatever, maybe a, a forum or a link, uh, access your web server, no, sorry, web application, and he gonna have your the script of the hacker running on his machine. The browser on the victim machine will run that injected script. Now, to tackle that, you have to validate the form. It's not enough to have HTTPS. I mean, HTTPS is not a solution to have no impact and it doesn't really prevent XSS attack. Because HTTPS, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol, processing web pages and PHP files and images and resource files, it's secure because of the SSL certificate, socket uh, secure, secure socket uh, layer which is a protocol, communication protocol, that allows an encrypted or a safe, if you like, an encrypted uh, communication between the user and the web server. So even the hacker can send uh, data, which is malicious, and it's going to be encrypted, then decrypted back in the uh, server side. So SSL, HTTPS, is not a solution. Luckily for us, I mean not for us, luckily uh, now, nowadays XSS is a very old because it was in the 90s and most modern browsers, they can understand whether there is an XSS attempt or not. XSS, I'm going to give you an example, is very easy. For, I mean nowadays it's, it's easy. So if you have a text area for instance, text area, alright, and end of text Uh, 
area and here you might have, you might have label comments okay good I have here label comments no text area what's wrong here all right and what do you do you are asking your user to enter some comments here when you run this I'm gonna enter I am I suppose I am a hacker so I'm gonna enter my data here all right I'm gonna register uh, then in the comment I'm gonna enter some comments here then I'm gonna inject a script but nowadays browsers whenever they see script begin script and they will uh, they will really remove this keyword here and your code will be uh, meaningless so script uh, begin script and and here I can uh, create function to get uh, to change the DOM or to steal some usernames uh, from uh, other users okay so this is how the injection is done here or even here okay sometimes in the source file uh, here uh, for instance if I have an image okay and it has a source and there was an image here from the server okay I as a programmer I'm gonna use JavaScript all right and do some code here so what happened here whenever this image is run by the browser okay what happened here is that the browser we tried to upload the image but it found not an image so it's going to be a broken image but after what after executing this command here it can be a function okay that is malicious so these are examples of uh, JavaScript injection, right? Which is which is basically the meaning of cross uh, uh, the XSS, the cross site scripting. Now to uh, to tackle that, the solution is sanitize the data, validate the data coming from the form. So one way, one solution is to listen to the form and prevent it from being submitted because you don't want the data the malicious data to be sent to the web server and stored permanently then being delivered to other users so prevent it from being submitted so what do you do i'm going to give you an example here assume that i don't want the user i'm going to write script here to so script i don't want the user nas to uh, submit the form so I'm gonna listen to the submission once the submission is done okay once this button here is clicked to submit I'm gonna go to username and check if it's not nice. if it's not nice, I'm gonna prevent the form from being submitted so what do I do I'm gonna write this prevention mechanism so it's gonna be documents dot get uh, sorry, add even listener. First, I'm going to run the listener once the DOM con content is loaded. So, DOM. Oh, gosh, there's no autocomplete content. Loaded. Uh, I'm going to run my, init, or my initial function. You could use here, guys, the anonymous function, but I prefer to go this way. So, var or init. Uh, function in it initialize and what does this do just add an event listener also to the button to the uh, login button so whenever uh, whenever the login button is I'm gonna add here what a click event whenever the login button is clicked I'm gonna call process form 1 process form 1 submit all right of course I'm gonna define this or we'll just use document document dot get element by ID 
and the login button. Is this properly done? Okay, now I'm going to define this function here. So, function begin and end, and I'm going to check if I'm going to use document, doc, uh, I'm going to read the username. So, if document dot get element by id from the username because i'm using id here guys so from username dot value i don't like this so i prefer to save it guys so var username now if if username matches nas prevent this from being sent. I'm going to put begin and end because maybe I'm going to debug it and you show show you how it's going to go there. So I'm going to call the prevent default. This prevent default is a predefined function, guys, that prevent a form from being submitted. All right. So prevent default is a method on the event object if this prevent the uh, prevent form submission if you you think that the form has unclean or suspicious data. So I'm gonna go here now. The prevent default is not a window or uh, document method. It belongs to the event. So I'm gonna trap here the event object. You can call it whatever you like. The event object, guys. Remember, so evt dot prevent default. Save. And that's my script here, validation script. So, refresh, and I'm going to use Peter. Is Peter allowed to submit? Let's see. I'm going to log in and see whether data has been submitted. Good. Can you see data are being submitted? So, user, Peter, password is whatever I entered here. That's good. Now, what about NAS? NAS, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Login. I should not see the get here. Good. Can you see, guys? There is no get here. Can you see? Once I change this, it's being sent. All right. So this is one way preventing the submission of the form whenever uh, some data you think are unclean by doing what? Prevent default. So that's one method, one solution. We're going to see the rest after uh, this. I'm going to stop here because I want some short videos. So I will see you guys uh, shortly.